So due to interest in a past program on Greek colonies, several of you have asked me to cover some of the more prominent ones, which I'm happy to do. So let's start in southern Sicily with the colony of Akragas. The story of Akragas actually starts with that of another colony, Jela, also pronounced Yela, that was founded on the island of Sicily in 688 BC by Dorian Greeks from both Crete and the island of Rhodes. Being a prosperous city, Jela rapidly grew in size, and several decades later, around 580 BC, it established its own colony, called Akragas. At the time, Jela was arguably one of the most prosperous cities on the island of Sicily. First under the tyrant Hippocrates, who conquered large parts of eastern Sicily, and then for a short while under his successor, Jelon. Around 485 BC, Jelon captured the much larger city of Syracuse and made it his capital. He also forcibly relocated half of Jela's population there. It's around this time that Akragas began to outshine its mother city. Akragas's territories bordered those of hostile Carthaginians, and this may have allowed the strongman Philaris to become the city's tyrant. Known for being extremely cruel, Philaris is said to have roasted his enemies in a large steel bull. However, he did enlarge Agragas's domain between the years 570 to 555 BC, which made it the second most important Greek Sicilian city after Syracuse. Most of Akragas's wealth came from exporting grain, olives, livestock, and wine to mainland Greece. Akragas's real period of glory began around 488 BC with the rise of the tyrant Theron. During this time, it became the capital of a small western Greek empire that seized land from both Carthaginians as well as rival Greek cities. Theron was also instrumental in defeating the Carthaginians at the Battle of Himera in 480 BC, which supposedly was going on around the same time as the Battle of Salamis further to the east. After the battle, Theron brought back many Carthaginian prisoners of war and used them as labor for his many ambitious building programs in Akragas, including many temples. Theron's son and successor, Thrasydeus, wasn't as popular as his father. In fact, he was known to have been extremely cruel, and the people of Akragas hated him. After a disastrous war with the tyrant Heron I of Syracuse, Thrasydeus was ousted and fled to the Greek mainland, where he was eventually executed in Megara. Having had enough of tyrants for the time being, around 472 BC, Akragas' citizens set up a new, limited form of democracy. At least, that's what later Greek writers would call it. In reality, it was probably more of an oligarchy, though with many more families being part of it than perhaps in the typical Greek polis. That's partially because Akragas wasn't the typical Greek city. By the mid-400s BC, its population was massive. According to Diodorus Siculus, perhaps as many as 200,000 people lived there. Most scholars today, though, estimate that it was perhaps no more than a quarter of that, with estimates ranging from 15 to 50,000 people. Perhaps due to the relatively large population, the city went through another large building program, the ruins of which, especially those of temples, can still be seen today. Of course, prosperous cities, especially those as strategically located as Akragas, attract unwanted attention. And in 406 BC, the Carthaginians returned, captured the city, and depopulated it of Greeks. Though it was resettled around 340 BC by Corinthians under the military leader and statesman Timoleon, Akragas was never able to recover to the height of its former glory. In fact, the Carthaginians returned during the next century, and by around 270 BC, they had taken over the city once again. This then made Akragas a target for the Romans during the First Punic War, where they faced off against Carthage. The city was besieged and changed hands several times. Finally, in 210 BC, Akragas was definitively captured by the Romans, who repopulated it with colonists from the Italian mainland. They renamed it 
Agrigento, and it slowly lost its identity as a Greek city. So, I hope that this short program introduced you to the extremely historic and ancient city of Akragas. I'd also like to thank all of you for stopping by. I truly appreciate it. In addition, I'd like to thank GrandKek69, Yap de Graf, Pasta Frola, Michael Lewis, Daniel Allen, Danny Van Eka, YNX TV, Robert Morgan, Sher Cam, Farhad Kama, and all of the channel's patrons on Patreon for helping to support this and all future content. Check out the benefits to being a Patreon member, and if you'd like to join, feel free to click the link in the video description. You can also follow History with Sai on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as continue to listen to special audio programs on the History with Sai podcast. Thanks again, and stay safe.